Some survivors of sex abuse are not happy with the Buffalo Diocese after a recent forum. They say there was not much listening by the bishop at last night's listening session. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller has the story. It is not appropriate for you to have a formal spot in the agenda for the listening session tomorrow night as the flow and agenda for the session has been planned for some time. That's the message a childhood sexual abuse survivor of the Catholic Church received Wednesday when she asked to share her harrowing story at a listening session for parishioners. The listening sessions are put on by the Movement to Restore Trust, a partner of the Catholic Diocese following the ongoing sexual abuse scandal within the church. The idea to me of a listening session is that they are getting, yes, input from, from their parishioners, um, but also they're listening to survivors. Sarah Shiley says she was sexually abused from the time she was 7 to 14 by Father Gerald Sheehan while he was a priest at the Nativity of Our Lord Church in Orchard Park. She, like so many survivors, says the pain of the abuse is lifelong. Came to face that it probably was over 200 times that he had abused me. Shiley says she feels compelled to share her story with parishioners and the bishop to help enact real change within the diocese and the church. She says she thought the listening sessions were a good place to do that. It was structured to, they said a prayer, they um, provided the agenda, very timed. Um, the woman in charge, she had a timer and she timed people when they spoke out. So you had one person at your table recording and another person at your table who was going to be the speaker for what was said around the table. But when she asked to have time at the session, she was told by Movement to Restore Trust member Maureen Hurley that it is not appropriate and would not fit the flow of the session. Shiley and those in attendance, including diocese whistleblower Siobhan O'Connor, were stunned. Multiple times last night, they are being told, well, no, this isn't a Q&A. We're not going to be answering questions. I mean, they're actually saying that. And it's very frustrating because if we can't even get our questions answered, it's very hard to think that we're progressing forward. There wasn't time at that point, uh, at that late in the day, to, um, to change the whole format around to accommodate uh, testimony from a survivor. John Hurley says the listening session formats were set up by the bishop. Those in attendance are split into groups. One person at each table is the spokesperson and makes a final report of what was discussed for the bishop. You also can't put a survivor up there and say, okay, you've got 10 minutes, now go. You, you really have to let them speak and you have to see where it goes and you have to make sure that there's ample room in the agenda for it. And that just wasn't the purpose of this session. We are struggling and this isn't going to be swept under the rug. This is long term. This will be a lifetime of healing for me. The Diocese of Buffalo released a statement saying in part no one has been or will be shut out at any session. A presentation by a victim survivor requires more time and would fail to allow others to speak. But Shiley says she refuses to go to the place where she was abused to speak with Bishop Richard Malone. Instead, she feels the bishop should reach out to her. Reporting in the newsroom, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.